uh, my video looking hooked up. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about child support and medical support. And the reason I decided to do this is because child support and medical support is a huge issue in marriages and relationships. And what I want to do is give you a rundown on the process and how it works and the purpose, because I think that people really have a negative uh, outlook about child support. It, it Child support has gotten a very bad rap. And I want to explain to you the purpose of child support. And maybe um, when you know certain things, you will be prone to be a little more sexually responsible um, concerning your seed. I did this on my regular Facebook because I want men to be able to see it too. And I want my guys on YouTube to be able to see it. So this is the process. Okay. So... Guy and girl are together. We're going to assume that they are adults. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. Let me let me tell my people in the front that they too loud. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Oh, and y'all, I'm wearing this dark hair. This is wedding hair because I'm in a wedding. So that's, I had to tone it down just a little bit for the wedding. But anyway, okay, guy, girl are together. Guy and girl gets pregnant. I'm going to talk about the unmarried situation first versus the married situation. Unmarried, have baby. Baby comes into the world. Up until that child is five years old, it is assumed that the father is 100% responsible. People say, why? Because the first five years are set aside for her to be able to nurture her child. That means if she does not want to work, she does not have to work. That means that she is not obligated to send her child to any daycare or anybody to watch her child. She is able to sit at home. So a lot of times women say, oh, I got to work. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you want to sit at home, you can if if you wanna if you wanna sit at home, you can, but just understand your quality of life is gonna reflect you sitting at home. Um, this means the first five years she can nurture her child. Okay, so baby comes into the world, they are not married. He has to sign paperwork that says that he is the father. Okay, he signed the paperwork. That means a paternity has been established. Paternity is established. He signed the paperwork. He, he, he went and put his name on it. Guy and girl fall out. They don't make it. Relationship goes down here for whatever reason. I don't care what the reason is. For um, Guy may give money. Guy may not give money. But let me just say this. A lot of women go the child support route because a lot of times when there's a lot of issues between me and you personally and we couldn't get along because you might have hurt me or the relationship didn't go the way that I felt like it should go a lot of times it's hard for me to ask you for support it's hard for me to come and talk to you about anything because I'm emotional because for whatever reason I'm torn and I don't really want to have to come to you and communicate with you pertaining a child and this is just to assume suppose you're in the life suppose you're not I don't know but a lot of reasons women go to child support right is because they don't want to have to come asking you for nothing every time they need something for the child. Because you are 100% responsible because the child not five years old yet. So when I hear men and they say, oh, she don't want to work, she don't want to do nothing. If, if your child under five years old, she don't have to. And if you explain this to your sons, then they will understand the importance of them being sexually responsible. Because they're going to understand that for the first five years of this child's life, you are 100% financially responsible. So it, she say, look, it ain't working between me and you. I don't want to have to come asking you for nothing. You are 100% financially responsible. You're not sending anything in consistently. And sometimes you send it when you upset with me and we into it. You don't send it for whatever reason. Now she decides to go 
the child support route. She goes, she fills out her application. If she receives any type of government assistance, food stamps, uh, anything, she don't have to pay to submit that application through the state. It's free. She submit the application. They schedule her a court date. When they schedule her a court date, guess what? They serve you too, sir. The reason I'm making this video is because of this part right here. They serve you too, sir. The man said, well, I ain't never get served. Somebody got served for you. When you went to DMV and you put your address down for your driver's license and your ID, you said, this is my official address. This is where you can find me. This is where all my important mail go to. This is where anything concerning me, this is where it's going to come to because this is where I have established residency because I put it down at the DMV. So the process server come out to serve you. They may serve you directly. They may not serve you directly. They might serve your mama because again, this is the address that you put down for DMV. So now they done served your mama. And it's up for your mama to get this information to you so that you can have your ass at court. And when you come to court, you can tell the judge, judge, I signed the paperwork. The judge going to say, great, this speeds up the process. We ain't got to establish paternity. You already said you to daddy. Right. This is the way it goes. Or it may be a situation to where you didn't sign the paperwork and the judge say, okay, the, the paternity has not been established Let's establish paternity with a DNA test. Okay, so now we got the DNA test. The test say you the daddy. You say, oh, well, I need a lawyer. The judge said, okay, we're going to continue this for you to be able to get you a lawyer. Now, what you have not taken into consideration is the date that she filed the application. See, the child support go back to the date that she filed the application. So what happens is when you go to court and you prolong this process because, oh, I need a DNA test. Oh, I need to get a lawyer. Oh, I ain't ready yet. Oh, this, 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 that, the other. The state know this. The state knows what they're doing. They're going to give you all of this rope. And that rope is designed for you to hang yourself. Because what they're going to do is they're going to set the child support order and they're going to go back to the date that she filed it. And if, if I'm going to say it's a, a, a minimum wage child support order. When I was working there about 15 years ago, a minimum wage child support order was probably about, um, it was 188 then. So I'm going to say it might be about 200, I'm going to say $250. That's what it is. I'm going to say $250. What they're going to do is go back and they're going to bill you $250 for every month up until that court date. So this is how you start off the case with arrearages. I can't really see that. This is how the case starts off with arrearages. This is how you start behind because all of this plan, lollygagging, all of this here, okay? So the next question is, Sharonda, how do they determine the child support? They look at your income and they look at her income. Now, you will want her not to have an income. And I'm going to tell you why, because a lot of times people go there and be like, oh, she got a job. She make money. She do this here. You will want to shut the hell up. Because what you don't understand is they're not basing it off of her income. They're basing it off of y'all total income. Meaning she could be making way more money up here and you could be making money down here and that child support obligation is going to be a tad bit higher because they looking at it as if you and this woman was in the same household together, this is the type of money that this child will have access to. It ain't this baby fault. The child couldn't work it out. So this child should not be slighted financially because y'all couldn't work it out. So they base the child support obligation off of the combined income. That's what they ask you, how much you make. And that's what they ask her, how much you make. And if she come down there and she say, well, my child not five yet and I'm not working and I'm still home nurturing my child, then they base it just off of what you make, which means that the child support obligation is going to be according to your income. But if she working, they going to combine both incomes 
And they're going to base the child support off of both incomes. Which means the obligation is going to be a tad bit higher than what it would have been if it was only your income on there. So I'm just trying to give you the game because what happens is a lot of y'all hooping and howling and screaming about she ain't doing nothing, she ain't doing nothing, she ain't doing nothing. Let me say something. If you pay your child support and you pay your obligation faithfully, a lot of times she wouldn't even qualify for a lot of the government assistance that she getting. But being that she's getting government assistance, that tells the state right there that you're not paying. Because see, she's going to apply for all of this stuff and they're going to say, oh, but we see you got a child support obligation. But then they're going to also say, oh, but he ain't paying it. So here you go, baby. You qualify because he ain't paying. Even though they're sitting right there on the side, he ain't paying it, baby. You qualify. So the thing is, if they are taking child support from you, it means that now she can't qualify for all kinds of shit. I know a lot of people that get child support that can't get food stamps, can't get housing, can't get nothing because the fathers are really doing what they're supposed to do. See, the government steps in and becomes your child's father. When you don't pay your child support and the government have no problem with becoming your child's father because they know that they're going to be able to hinder you. They're going to be able to suspend your license. They're going to be able to put a lien on your bank account if you ever get one. They're going to be able to garnish anything you ever got. They're going to be able to put liens on your houses, liens on your boats, liens on anything you try to do. The government going to say, oh, you want to do all this right now? But we your baby daddy. We your baby daddy. So let us get some of that, let, let us get some of that reimbursement back. Because you had us taking care of your responsibility. The next thing, married. Have baby. When you marry and you have a baby, nobody has to establish paternity. Because it is assumed that your husband is the father of the child. Legally. I'm stressing legally. If the child is born within the marriage, your child has a legal father. He may be the biological father and he may not. Louisiana is the only state that will allow you to have a legal father and a biological father. And you can put both of them on child support. We are the only state that does that. So let's say you are the legal father. You ain't got to fill out no paperwork or nothing. She could go down to the courthouse. And say that, you know what? It ain't working out between me and him. I need to get my uh, child support set up. They're going to they gonna establish it. When you marry and it didn't work out, it's easier to establish the support versus when you're not married. Because you don't have to prove paternity. So that's the difference in the two. So when I'm seeing people saying, oh, the judge just gave me a baby. Yes, the judge will give you a baby if you don't show up to court. It's called the default judgment. If they serve you, you don't show up, the judge is going to say, guess what? He ain't here to tell his side of the story. So the only testimony I got to go by is hers. Well, here go your baby, sir. A lot of people have, and it's so hard to get from up under default judgments because they will make you go get attorneys and they will make you go and uh, get your, in other words, get your own DNA, get all of this other stuff. They will make you go and do it. The courts won't do it. So the best thing you can do is show up to court. Every time they tell you to come to court, show up to court. Child support. A lot of people say, oh, this is the way mamas get ahead. No, because what you don't understand is when we being mamas, when women being mamas, it's a lot that we can't do. We got to move different when we have children. But you still have your freedom. So that means you got the freedom to go out there and work and go do whatever you want to do. You getting your time. A lot of men say, well, I can keep my own baby. And I ain't got to pay her nothing. Well, sir, get your baby. Get your baby. But what you got to understand now, you in her position. So now you limited. Now your time is limited. Now you can't work and move the way you want to work and move. And now you're going to have to be paying people to watch your child and getting people to do this here or cutting your hours and watching your baby yourself. And now she got her freedom. Everybody give up something when the family unit is broken. 
So when I see men on here and they like, oh, this child support is a ripoff. No, 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 no. Ch only thing child support does is one, make sure the paternity established and make sure that there's an order so that you can know how much you're responsible for paying. And it's a consistent way of parents getting their payments without having to call you and deal with your bullshit to get the money. That means when she get when she know every two weeks this gonna come on the card regardless of me and you talking or not. And every two weeks this gonna come on the card as long as you got your job this gonna come on the card. And I ain't got to hear about your car in the shop. And I ain't got to hear about all because guess what real life happened to all us. But just because real life happened don't mean that your child don't get to be taken care of. So I just think a lot of people have the wrong idea about child support. And when I work for child support enforcement, all of the men who really had an interest in taking care of their children, they never complained about making their payments. They made their payments on time. They made sure that we got it. If they thought that the, the job, like if you, some jobs used to pay them weekly and they had a fifth week in the month and they thought we didn't get the payment, they made sure they was calling in to make sure that their child was getting what they needed. A lot of times, oh, I can go out there and buy the stuff myself. That's a gift. Because the thing is, children require certain things to be able to survive. They require shelter, lights, water, all of this kind of stuff. And you say, oh, well, I'm paying her light bill, I'm paying her water bill, I'm paying this hill. Well, yeah, up until the child five years old because you're 100% responsible. See, that's what you got to know when you decide that you want to lay up and, and, and put your seed in everybody. You got to understand that for a certain period of time, you are 100% responsible. Now, once the child turns five years old, some people's obligations go down. Or sometimes you don't got raises on your job and the obligation go up. But either type, either way it goes, you share some of the responsibility. And when you don't pay it, you can expect this to be over your head for a long period of time. You can't buy no house. You can get a car, but you can't put it in your name because if you put it in your name, then guess what? The registration, everything else is going to be flagged. It ain't going to be no good to drive. Your driver's license is going to be suspended. You can't go work nowhere hardly. You can't move around. You can't do shit. You can't hunt. You can't fish. I saw that a lot when I was in New Rose doing child support. A lot of those people do crawfishing and all of that kind of stuff, but they can't do it when, when they, they child, when they uh, driver's license is suspended. You can't go get a hunting fishing license. Because see, when, when we get up in there, we start suspending licenses, we suspend everything. Barber license, hunting, fishing license, driver's license. Any type of license you got, it gets suspended. So my thing is this when it comes down to child support. If that's the route that the woman chose, you ought not be upset or bitter. Because what you should have did was beat her to the punch and you should have got something established yourself. Because let me tell you something, if you go to a woman and say, look, I'm going to give you such and such amount of money every week, he'll go to court, it's going to automatically, I got it set up to automatically go to this account every week, and the money going to be on the card, she ain't going to file no child support on you. She not. Because you handling your business. But see, the minute you get to talk about some, oh, I ain't got it. And then she look on the internet and you got the new this and the new that and you and your woman here and y'all traveling there and you doing that. She gonna shut all that shit down. You ain't gonna be able to leave the country and go no fucking well. How you going? You can't get no passport. Suspend it. So if you do what you're supposed to do from the beginning and you stop playing around, not showing up to court, delaying this, continuing that, then guess what? You won't have all of them higher rearages. A rear just come from you not paying. And I'm going to repeat that. A rear just come from you not paying. And guess what? When that child turned 18, them are, the, in other words, child support don't bill you monthly no more, but them a rear just still sitting there. They're going to sit there. I have seen people turn 30 years old and then he get into a car accident and something, a big old lawsuit. And guess what? She get $50,000, $60,000 in a rear just. Because she let that shit sit there. She said, he ain't got to pay it. It'll get paid sooner or later. This is what I have seen. I seen a man that got an uh, asbestos for whatever this asbestos for, mesothelioma, whatever. He had one of them kind of lawsuits. Huge lawsuit. 
had never paid child support, had never worked, had never did anything. He had ducked, ducked and dodged his whole life. His children were adults. And guess what? That woman got the bulk of that lawsuit. He wanted to fight her in court. I saw this for myself. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is, it's not a bad thing, but don't nobody want to have to run up behind you for you to do what you know you're supposed to do. They have things in place. And let me say this here. Women, if you can afford a private attorney, it's better to get your child support established with a private attorney versus going through the state. Meaning you get your child support established through the private attorney and you get your judgment because you know your baby in dance, your baby in tap, you want braces, you want uh, good health care, your child got an uh, underlying health condition. All of, you need a private attorney to establish that child support. Because all of that needs to be included in the judgment. And once you get your judgment, you go take that judgment that has been established that you paid for. And you go take that one to the child support and office and say, I need y'all to enforce it. Don't let them establish it. Just say, I need you to enforce it. They'll enforce it for you. But, but it's better to go get it established privately. You get more. You get more of what your child is actually entitled to. You know if your child got underlying health conditions and, the, and the, the insurance don't cover the medicine every month and you got to pay for that out your pocket. You know that. That need to be in the judgment. You know if Lil Ray Ray play Little League, football, basketball, baseball, he in sports all year long and needs sports equipment. That need to be in the judgment. Your visitation need to be in the judgment. You need to know that he getting them every other weekend and these are the weekends. See, and when you get your own private judgment, they're going to specify you get the, this weekend, this weekend, and you alternate this holiday, this holiday. All that is in your judgment. Take that judgment to child support, and then they will enforce it. Child support ain't never been set up for the mama. It has always been set up to make sure that your children are getting what they deserve, what they supposed to have, as if you were in the household with them. So don't, and women, don't ever let nobody tell you that the child support is for the mama. All it does is help the mama leave, have a better quality of life to be able to provide for her child. Because guess what? If I got a better quality of life, if I can stay in a safer neighborhood, if I can have more reliable transportation, my baby benefit from all of that. So don't let nobody tell you that this is for you. to. It's, it's the one of you. No, this is to make sure that your child is having the same benefits they would have had if you and the daddy hadn't broke up. That's all it is. So, any questions, concerns, comments? All right. You all be blessed. You all be safe. The PPG store is open today from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Please like and share. Make sure you share this great information with people because there's too many people that don't understand how they have a child support order and they never went to court. They need to understand that it's a default judgment. I talked about that up in here. They need to understand that paternity established. Either you married and you established paternity. Either you went down there and you signed the birth certificate and you established paternity or no paternity established at all. They need to understand that in Louisiana, you can have a legal father and a biological father and both can be on child support at the same time. It's things that people really need to understand because they say a lot of things out of ignorance. And they don't understand and they don't know. So our job is to make sure that we understand and know what's going on. So when we talking, we don't sound ignorant when we talking. Because it don't look good when you're telling the world how you got a problem with taking care of your child. Because most people don't even make that much money anyway. Them little three, four hundred dollars they want you to pay a month, that ain't shit. Do you know how much children eat? I, three, four hundred dollars, I just spent sixty dollars at Honey Bake Ham. On fucking lunch. On lunch. To feed everybody in my household. But the thing is, you get to go to Honey Bake Ham when you want to. So you don't think your child don't want no honey bake ham every now and then? Hmm? I'm just trying to see. Oh, okay. I'm just I'm just saying. So that little three, four hundred dollars, we eat that shit up. She probably she she them churn crawfishing that up. They, you know, she out there by the time she going buy underclothes for the fucking month and say, okay, I'm about to change out all your underclothes, churn grow so fast. Do you 
Do you understand that that ain't no money? My churn always got their hand out. Always needing something. I, I got the most bag in the shirt. And they love Amazon. Come on. Like when I see men complaining and fussing about taking care of their churn, that, that says a lot. Because at the end of the day, that's your seed. That ain't the government seed. That ain't that woman's seed. That's your seed. And you are supposed to be the responsible party because it's your seed. And if you know you don't want to be responsible, stop putting that seed everywhere. Be responsible with it. Be sexually responsible. People say, oh, your churn ain't, I don't do birth control. I teach sexual responsibility. I ain't putting down child amount on the birth control. I teach sexual responsibility. See, when you got a person like me breaking down real life, the way I break down real life, you're going to want to always keep your legs closed. And if you open them up, you know that he's going to be responsible for you and anything that got to come through you. All right. You all be blessed.